Hi dear students, you are welcome in this video. Dear students, today I am going to tell you a story. We are going to talk about the country of the blind by H.G. Wells, who is known as the father of scientific fiction. Though the scientific fiction is existed before H.G. Wells, but he wrote extensively in uh, science or his fiction is based in the science and hence he is called as the father of scientific fiction. So dear students, we have a broader branch called scientific fiction and H.G. Wells contribution is well known. And today we have his one of the finest stories, the country of the blind. So in this video, I will tell you the summary or story exactly of the country of the blind. What is there in the story and how the story is composed by H.G. Wells. As we all know about H.G. Wells, so I think I need not uh, more information about H.G. Wells to tell you. So H.G. Wells is famous. His novels like The Time Machine, First Man on the Moon, uh, there are uh, many uh, stories also uh, composed by H.G. Wells. Now, The Country of the Blind. What is country of the blind? If you look at the title, you will understand this story is about blindness and it is comes under in a broader category of blind literature. So H.G. Wells contributes to the literature of the blind or blind literature generally called the country of the blind. So this title refers to the theme of blindness. Now let's understand the story. There are three characters, major three characters in the story. The very protagonist of the story, main character is uh, Nunes, a boy. Then we have uh, second character, Jacob, and third character, Medina Sarote, the daughter of Jacob. What happens in the story? It's very simple. Now, there is a place cut off from the rest of the world. It's like an island. But this place, how came into existence or how formed, there is a story. The Spanish uh, rulers were tyrannical and uh, to save from this tyranny, many people fled to the mountain surrounding Ecuador. So Ecuador, uh, there is a range of mountains and they were living there hundreds of years ago. After some time, there came a disease, a disease broke out and due to that disease, people became blind, completely blind and newborn babies also became blind. After many years, they formed many generations of blind people and there were single person with sight. And till that period, till that time, the people learnt living in the blindness. They lived in the blindness for many years and the last person who had sight also died. After that, these generations prospered in that cut off area from the rest of the world. In that, actually it's not an island, but it's like an island cut off from the rest of the world, from all the sites of the world. And they got habituated with this blindness, many generations. And the other senses sharpened of these people. What happens one day, one day, now this Nunez is a climber and he comes from Bogota, a place in Colombia. What happens there? He was a climber and one day he goes for the climbing. He finds the Ecuador mountain and he just climbs on that Ecuador mountain. But unfortunately, he falls down through a snowy steep slope and he falls deep down. There were no one when he falls there. And then he realized that he fall, but uh, there was no any injury because of the snow. It was steep, but he came falling through the snow and he saved himself. 
then he walks there uh, below the mountain and he realized that there seems some people and some houses in that valley when he walks to the valley in the direction of those people or in the direction of those homes he finds that these homes looks strange or looked strange because those homes did not have any windows and when he reaches to the village boundary he finds that this village have uh, different types of road networks or path networks and these path networks were built with caves now k e a b s caves is nothing but uh, the protection wall made up of stones in that particular area or in that valley uh, in the village of that valley he just walks through those caves and finds that these people do not have eyes they are completely blind people and hence we have the title country of the blind now they are separate from all corners of the world they are uh, they are those people who do not have any contact with the outer world and they have their own world they have their own system they have their own ways of living with the blindness now this nunes finds that these people are blind and a thought came in his mind he thought that he can become the king there why because he has one eye means he also was blind with one eye nunes now he he thinks that there were there was a proverb called in the country of the blind one eyed man is king in the same way he thought and he tried to convince the people there he was talking about sight he was talking about how world looks he was talking about how he came from the world where people can see people can have things before their eyes but the people were not interested in his uh, thinking that there is something called sight existed there is something uh, called see or look the world existed now he got frustrated because he was not able to make people understand about sight he was not uh, he could not convince the people and people were talking about him that he is some one strange but gradually he had to live with those people and reluctantly he followed their ways of living he thought that there was no any option without following the ways of these people and people assigned him to work for the person called yakob in that village he goes to the house uh, he goes to the home of yakob and there he finds his youngest daughter called medina sarote he works for yakob yakob becomes his master after some days he falls in love with medina sarote and he decides to marry him he says about his proposal to oh, medina and he tried to tell her about the sight or how people can see the world but she also thought that it is imagination nothing more than imagination this matter goes to the villagers and uh, villagers who are not agree with this proposal to marry uh, medina sarote youngest daughter of yakob they were agree with one thing that nunez should remove his eyes and they went to the doctor nunez was shown to the doctor doctor asked nunez to remove his eyes and there failed the need of operation nunez also got ready to operate on his eyes and remove the eye because people and medina also thought that he was disturbed with this thing called sight he was disturbed with his eye and hence it is necessary to remove his eye he thought 
everything about this people about medina sarote his love and decided to operate on the day of operation what happens just nunez was thinking and a train of uh, thought were present in his mind early in the sunrise just he woke up and walks after walking a long distance he decides to leave that place then he walks again a long distance he again climbs on the mountain and he finds there a way in the other world in the rest of the world and he became happy so this is the old version of this story called the country of the blind he escapes from there which is published first in 1904 and then again the same story is published in 1911 in the short story collection called the country of the blind and other stories but we have full version or extended version of the same story published in 1939 and there we find a different ending of the story at the end of this story what happens the boy called nunez sees there was a mountain sleeping in the village and he just tells people there that there is a big stone which is coming to the village which is slept from the mountain and they all need to flee from the place but no one trust him and only nunez can see the thing happening before his eyes and at the end nunez and medina sarote flees from that village and they enters into the new world so this is the ending of the story in the extended version of 1939 i hope you understood the complete story there is nothing difficult in the story it is Uh, as per the title the country of the blind people who are blind there and this you remember this proverb called in the country of the blind one eyed man is king and he wanted to prove this proverb nunes but he fails in his attempt so this is the story and at the end he flees with medina sarote uh, with whom who falls in love from that particular place so dear students this is all about story this is the summary of the story if you have any problem any doubt regarding this story or regarding english literature you can ask me through the comments i am ready to answer your comments so thank you very much for watching the complete story please share this story among your friends and also subscribe to literature simply it's a very good channel for literature Thank you very much. Let's meet in the next video.